Good day, good day, good day, good day, good day. I am James Collects. I, I sell stuff online so that I can afford the nerdier things in life. This is a week in the life of, basically, I resell things on eBay so that I can afford nerdy things. Basically, kind of investing, I suppose, uh, in my retirement fund, uh, but investing in things that I get to enjoy on the way to retirement. Uh, at the moment, it's things like you've got some Pokemon stuff there, we've got some Game Boys, we've got some Lego, we've got some PS1, although admittedly I'm getting rid of a lot of the PS1 stuff. Uh, but th the plan is I will work my socks off and work to the bone until I can't any longer um, and surround myself with nerdy stuff that I love to see. So, this was, as I said, this week in the life of everything that I sell. I'll let you know how much I sold it for. Anything that comes in, I'll let you see exactly what comes in, I suppose. Uh, unboxings will hopefully be coming back soon. I'm waiting for this stupid cold to go. It's been lingering for far too long. As soon as it goes, it tends to go for like three days and then it comes back again. Uh, so looking to start unboxing soon and that'll be once a week. Thank God, looking forward to it uh, because this is why I resell so that I can do things like this because not being funny, it can be really bloody expensive and if you can make a few quid on the side in order to, to boost your online portfolio, then why the hell wouldn't you? But what have we sold? Qfig. This is an IT Qfig. Um, Qfigs are like Funko Pops but they're much better in every way. Quality control is better, the figures are better. Um, that's about it. They're better. Although I don't collect Q figs, I still have Funko Pops in my collection, but I've not got any Q figs in my collection, if that makes sense. Probably because there's none in the right style and franchise that I want. I'm waffling. Uh, Quake 2 on the PS1 sold for £13.49. Admittedly, that should have gone in last week's video, but they paid for it after I started editing last week's video, so it's going in this one instead. But it's currently 10 past 5. Saturday and my dinner's ready so I should probably um, go and do that before I get told off by the wife so uh, there's another th three items to show you before I even like start doing anything else but that might wait until tomorrow okay it's Sunday and these are all the things that have sold so the Pennywise thing you've seen already the Quake 2 you've seen already but for 24.99 plus shipping we have sold a Warhammer 40k Citadel Finecast Tau Dark Strider probably cost me like two or three quid uh, we have sold Driver on the Xbox 360 that is the Francisco version 8 99 all in Alien Hominid 7 19 all in Guitar Hero 2 7 pound 19 all in an item which I can't show you because I don't actually have it on me but uh, we'll sort that out later. Sold this once again. Focus. There we go. A Dagostini Boba Fett. Sold for $79.99. That's in that box there. It had already sold and then the person changed their mind because they found one cheaper. Um, Space Hulk. Sold for $17.99 plus shipping. That's going out via the GSP to Australia. Uh, Quake 2, I've told you about. Uh, Joy from Blade Runner 2049, still not seen it, still not seen the first one. I know that's like 20 years old, but it doesn't really matter. £5.40 plus shipping, and then Settlers 3, big box PC, sold for £22.49. So uh, hopefully, when you see all this in a minute, it'll be a load of boxes. And a little while later, and everything's boxed up, ready to go. Uh, obviously, two of the items were from Friday last week, which was. Uh, one DVD thingy and one of those boxes. But yeah, everything is ready apart from the one item which is at my parents, which I'll be picking up tomorrow as they have an extra day of childcare because the nursery's closed. So uh, yeah, unless anything else sells for the next three hours, uh, that is going to be it. I knew it was going to happen. We've had two more sales on Sunday. So Manhunt, which I bought for three quid. I've sold for 6.29 all in, so I had to get rid of it. I shouldn't have bought it, I made a mistake, deal with it. Uh, and then the Orc bata uh, Battle Wagon, £41.39 plus shipping. Guy paid within like half an hour to an hour of purchasing it. 
actually sent him a message saying that if you want it being dispatched today, just let me know and I'll go and grab it out of the loft. And he apologised and then paid. Uh, don't know what it cost me. Don't know how long I've had it for. Was it from the £35 bundle or was it longer? Genuinely no idea. But time to get these packaged up and add them to the pile. Okay, so Monday afternoon and these are the sales. Kind of forgot to pick up the item for my parents when I dropped off my daughter. Thankfully, I'm going back over there tomorrow. So kind of hope that I don't forget again. Uh, but we have sold a London Guard SpongeBob SquarePants for... 9.99 all in cost me a quid the 1955 version i believe of scrabble sold for 9.99 plus shipping and then this little dinosaur is going out to california and it sold for 49.99 plus shipping it's 1989 and it is from the british national history museum and it is an Invicta Pliosaur or a Liperiodon. Yeah, probably butchered that, but there you go. Okay, so it's Tuesday and we're starting off with a set of Nintendo Wii shell remotes. So there's four different colours. Light blue, green, red and yellow. Sold for $17.99 plus shipping. And then the Liverpool Football Club own brand training shirt sold for £11.69 plus shipping now time to go up into the loft okay so we are looking for Thundercats toys you know that bundle was it Thundercats? I think it was Thundercats and I called it something else I kept on calling it a different franchise repeatedly and it probably annoyed everyone but it looks like it's that bundle there all bagged up, it should be the whole thing ready to go. I'm just gonna pull the listing up and it is, it's going over to some of the ends in PT. There should be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven figures in total. One, two, three. So it should be another bag in here, which I'd imagine is gonna be that bag. There's four in there, there is indeed. And that bundle has sold four. £109.99 plus shipping. Lovely jubbly. Not gonna lie, this was a full on panic for about three and a half minutes while I panicked, could have, couldn't find it. But for £8.99 plus a small parcel signed for delivery, we have sold Robocop 2 on the Amiga Commodore thingy majiggy. It's Wednesday and we have got some sales. Um, first up is actually just here. Never quite been put away properly, but we have sold, uh, we have sold a Tayo Edge RC hovercraft board. Hovercraft? Hovercraft. Picked up last year at the car boot, had to replace the battery. You can see in there, this is normally a blue battery pack. Got a new one, it works absolutely fine. And I have sold it for 69.99 plus shipping. So if you ever see one of these out and about, if it looks okay and you can get it for a decent price, by all means, pick it up. Oh, actually, I sold one of those as well for like 20 pound plus shipping. That was nice and easy. And uh, actually, while we're here, I sold one of the items in there. Um, right, so, bear with, we have sold Chaos Chariot, I don't know why I didn't quite finish the sentence there, I'll try and do this one handed, it's not going to be easy, let's do that there, strong left wrist, uh -huh. nope, it's that one then, Chariot, let me just double check, because it should be that one there, uh, it's sold for $24.99 plus shipping and it's going out via the GSP. Guess this now, please. Norway. So just the three items, but takes a bit of wedge. Okay, it's Thursday. First item. Didn't actually put it away. It was in a washing basket ready to go upstairs in the loft. But the Ralph Lauren Polo that I bought at the weekend, part of a bundle for £36. This has almost paid for a lot, I think. 
sold for $29.99 plus small parcel signed for shipping. Okay, now we're going into the loft. So again, another pickup from the weekend just gone. Bearing in mind, these listings only went last, uh, live a few days ago. Uh, I've sold the Tommy Hilfiger ladies shoes for $44.99, which is those there. Look at that, lovely jubbly. It's the triple buckle ones. Oh, hang on, let me get rid of that. And I'll show you exactly what they look like. Look like that. Uh, I think it's part of the first bundle that I actually picked up from the lady. So it was three for 19 pounds or something ridiculous. Yeah, absolute bargain. Next up on the PS2, we have sold. Uh, it's down there somewhere. Right at the very, very end, Tetris Worlds sold for 2 99 all in. So it's Friday and I've had no sales to, to deal with. Kind of sucks. Um, it is Friday early afternoon and I'm at home on my own. So I'm going to list some things which you're going to see in a couple of days time and make the most of the time at home while I can. So yeah, the wife's actually gone to work for once rather than being at home in the office. So I might as well make the most of the space, the time, the freedom. Uh, Littlin will be in nursery until this afternoon, until at least like 5, 5.30. And it's her first day in a, an even bigger room. Thanks for that laptop. Um, so last time where she spent only a couple of hours in the room, she came back as a complete chatterbox. So with it being her first full day there, we're expecting the exact same again. Which will be interesting to see what other words she'll be coming out with today. But I picked up some interesting stuff, uh, some some big hitters, some things I'm going to need your help with, unfortunately. Uh, as I'm sure you're all aware, there will be links for everything that I use down below. I try not to push it because it's there if you if you want it. But there's links to all of the equipment, all of the products that I use in regards to reselling, etc, uh, etc. Et so feel free to have a click, have a look and see whether it's anything that you guys can utilise. It means that you get to support me without actually having to physically support me um, because I get a kickback and you pay what you would do normally, to be honest. So, yeah, I think that's pretty much going to be the video over. Uh, we'll go through the numbers, I suppose, because um, I can't see anyone buying anything anytime soon. So I might as well get that over and done with while I'm at home on my Todd, if it lets me sign in. But it's been... It's been a very quiet week, so I'm expecting about £500 for the week. So anything above that, I'll be happy. Actually, probably is more than that. Our seven day total, £701.17. So overall, I am very happy with that. We've um, no sales day today. It's a big fat zero, uh, but 700 quid over a week, £100 a day average uh, for someone who does this normally during my nine to five but it's a little bit before five it's it's good uh still waiting payment for four items it's never going to happen but i will wait so they get a ding on their account uh yeah weather's crap energy prices are going through the roof and we're on the cusp of world war three happy days <laughs>